Each year, Chicago Dining Magazines and food bloggers compile a list of the city's best BYOB restaurants. But how do you choose the right bottle to pair with your delicious dinner? Regine T. Rousseau is back with her tips for finding the perfect pairing. And trust me, uh, we trust her. Okay, good. Time. <laughs> Thank you. There Thank we you. go. Thank you. Let's start with the cheers. Oh, it's Thursday. Yes. We need it. Indeed. We Hello. Good to see Any you. Any day. Yes. It's Tuesday. It's we need Tuesday. it. It's Tuesday. It's Wednesday. It's Monday. We need it. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Okay, that's delicious. Wow, what so, is this? Ooh, yes. This is Sequoia, Sequoia Grove Winery. This is their Chardonnay, Napa Valley Chardonnay. Big, big fan of this particular wine. Okay, let's get to this BYOB thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm a big fan because as a wine writer, as a wine presenter, I get sent a lot of bottles, right? Yeah. And it's one of the ways I get to test out the bottles. I bring some friends, I try them out. For people at home, I say, if you're part of a wine club and you get your wine club shipment and you're like, Regine, I have so many bottles. What am I going to do with them? Go visit one of our BYOB restaurants. Okay. Yes. So this is the first uh, wine and we're going to take this particular bottle to Flower Power. Have you been there? No, I have, have you? not been. Okay. No. They are on West Chicago and this is uh, Chef Wilson Bauer. He is a um, Michelin star chef. He was at Shaw. He was at Elizabeth. And he decided to open this right, I think it was right before the pandemic. So the pasta is the canvas. And all of the beautiful sauces you see, it's like the painting. It's amazing. So the reason that I chose a Sequoia Grove Chardonnay mm -hmm. is typically when you think of pasta, you don't think of Chardonnay, right? right? But Flower Power, it's not a regular red sauce, white sauce pasta yeah, place. Yeah, you can tell from this photo. My yeah. God, it is artistry. Mm -hmm. So this wine, it is full. It's like medium bodied. It's got great flavor. It's got great acid. So if you go to the restaurant and you try a few different pastas, this will pair with a lot of different flavors. I love this. And I also love your tip. You say before you head out to any BYO, uh -huh. don't just go by what you see online. No, you please email, call ahead just to make sure they're actually BYOB because sometimes the information is not right. I think that's such smart advice too yes. because sometimes even with the hours like you'll get conflicting information whether it's like a Google aggregate or yep. you know Yahoo or YouTube or whatever. Absolutely yeah. and it, I'm glad you said that because Flower Power isn't opened every day mm -hmm. so you should follow them on Instagram. They post the menu. The menu changes weekly, daily Okay. and also you go to Talk and that's how you know what they're serving if they're open only 16 seats so you get there early wow. and you eat well. Oh, it sounds Amazing. nice. Yes. And you've got your wine. I, you got my, you got your yes. wine. So I love Sequoia Grove so much that I also brought you their Cabernet Sauvignon. This is their 2021 okay. Napa Cab. Okay. okay. So one of the things that I love about this particular mm -hmm. winery, they've been around for 30 years. Um, they're known for producing excellent Cabernets mm -hmm. and also Chardonnays. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things they do if you visit the winery, oh, first of all, it's beautiful. They have the sequoia trees this all over. It. It's gorgeous. So what they do is they have an experience called a taste of Cabernet, mm -hmm. where they pair Cabernets with very different foods, things that mm -hmm. you don't think about. We know steak and Cabernets go well together, right? right. Mm -hmm. But th they have like a tomato salad. They have like, um, uh, they have salmon. Okay, so we're gonna take this bottle. Sorry, I got so excited. <laughs> we're gonna take this bottle to uh, Cuisine Creole. Ooh. Cuisine Creole is a Haitian Caribbean restaurant. And où connaissez ah, ici Ah, you know, wasn't expecting that Creole. Regine. I grew up in Haiti. And I think this would be a fun pairing to try Cabernet yeah. Sauvignon with a different type of food. Well, another way of saying it is Kaizen or Kizen Creole. Yes. Okay, in case you're confused. Creole. And this is um, uh, Chef uh, Dan and Patrice Desir. I love this restaurant. I've mm -hmm. been there many times. So check it out. Bring your bottle of Sequoia wow. Grove Cabernet. Isn't it good? Wow. It's an easy to drink cab. It's fruit this forward. It's good. intense. But because of the fruit, because of the acid, it will work with the Caribbean flavors. And the food of Haitian food is not too, too spicy. Okay. okay? Good to know. Yes. Okay, so we're going to taste a little out of order. So this is uh, Miriam. This is their right bank 
red blend, okay? So typically, if we we're doing a traditional tasting, we would have tasted this first before the Cabernet. So we're going to take this bottle to Hermosa. I know you're excited because I just I found out you're friends, right? Yes, I am friends with Ethan Lim, who's the executive chef there, and it's incredible meal. Uh, I mean, it's... And what a story. Yeah. So Ethan was a chef at uh, Next, right? He opened this restaurant, and it is. It started off as like a sandwich spot, hot dog, hamburger, mm -hmm. reminiscence of, of his um, high school days. And now you can pick up lunch. They have this dinner called a family meal. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. It's BYOB. Ooh. No, um, no uh, corkage fee. No. And wow. people ball out, everyone. And here's the thing. It's called family meal because you want to get a group of friends that are, you know, friends that are family or your yeah. family. Yeah. And you or buy, me. like, yeah, you buy a group ticket and then you go with this group. You yeah. tell them what you want, what you're, you know, what you're interested in, what you want to focus on, and then you bring these big bottles of wine to impress everybody. So well, there you go. And so that's why I yeah. picked this right bank. This is the 2021? 20, uh -huh. 2020. Beautiful. So this is $89. This is, you got to bring a ball of wine if you go to this family dinner. So this is a blend of, what do we have in here? Uh, Merlot, Malbec, I believe there's some, let me see, Petit Verdot, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting. But it is soft, soft tannins. Not typically what I would do with Cambo Cambodian food, yeah. but I think this would work. Some of which can be kind of spicy, but that exactly. would pair beautifully. Because, right. it's, because the tannins aren't too great. And here's yeah. the thing. When you do BYO, so Regine says retail, this bottle is like $89, right? Correct. Okay. But if you were to go buy this at a restaurant off of a wine list, oh, it would be double that price. Uh, a little and bit so more. this is no a way, way to celebrate without, like, you know, you can celebrate without really spending a lot of money. I love right? that you yeah. said that because it could be, it can be a little cheaper, but mm -hmm. still support our other restaurants too. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So last but not least, okay, listen to this story. I had never heard of this vodka before. This is country vodka mm -hmm. and the founder is Jonas Hagos. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. So he was, um, he was born in a refugee camp in Sudan. Okay. okay? He's Ethi an Ethiopian re refugee camp. He migrates to the U.S. He ends up in Wheaton. 9-11 um, happens. He enlists in the U.S. Army. He earns a Purple Heart. He becomes a, sin, a, a serial entrepreneur. Wow. He owns all of these restaurants. And then in 2020, he says, I don't have enough to do. I'm going to um, start a vodka brand. What? So this is country vodka. We are going to take this particular bottle to Green Dragon Tacos and Juice Bar. Here's why. They have these awesome juices. Oh, wow. You bring Brilliant. your own bottle, and then you can make a cocktail. So uh. if you want to taste it neat, I really like this Ooh. vodka. It's not just about the story. I like the body of the vodka. I like Ooh. the freshness. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a great canvas for cocktails. Yeah, Beautiful. that is good. And then you just get one of the juices there yes. and mix it in. This one is my favorite. This is the Dirty Dragon. Oh, huh? I'm yeah, do so it. Yeah. I know you want to make a. Here you go. Here there you go. go. Make there yourself, we go. Do make right. yourself we do. a cocktail. <laughs> we love when you oh, come. That is genius. I, I, think it's, I think it's amazing. So I don't know if I mentioned the Sequoia Grove is $38 for the okay. Chardonnay, $60 for the Cabernet, and the Miriam Wright Bank is, I said $89. The vodka is about $20. Oh, wow. Great. Oh, look at how she pours. She knows how to do it. For more information, <laughs> head to shallwewine.com. Find her on Instagram, Facebook, all the things. Not Facebook, huh. just the gram. The gram. Yes.